Hello everybody, this is Sofa, and uh, today we're going to have a very interesting review on some stands for Soviet awards. Uh, in the future we will also uh, talk about some other awards such as German, Japanese and American awards and including the appropriate stands for them. Now, the most important thing in everybody's collection or in collections of uh, people who are interested in phaleristics or in awards and medals, it's basically the display. So there's several kind of displays. Um, you have, for example, the vitrine where you can just simply put in the award itself. Um, then you have little stands which you can display in the vitrine. Um, you have some shadow boxes which you can actually um, hang on the wall and uh, little shadow boxes or display cases, uh, something like Riker's off offering. So pretty nice displays which you, where you can put it in. I personally prefer uh, for, in this case, Soviet awards, um, these kind of stands. <clears throat> and I think this will be my first time to mention uh, Facebook on my channel. Um, I have found a very interesting English speaking uh, group which has over 1,600 uh, members and uh, those guys are actually uh, talking and investigating and assisting uh, English speakers, basically they're only English speakers there, uh, with identifying Soviet awards and so on. And um, it's quite interesting because it's a very how to say, a uh, relaxing uh, community, which is helping each other, you know, so it, it's quite uh, interesting to visit the group. Um, if you like to join, I will leave um, the link in the description um, so you can actually uh, join the group and take a look. Uh, very friendly, guys, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> now, let's get back uh, to the stands. Now, most of you are probably familiar uh, with the standard stands which are being used very often for not only Soviet, uh, Soviet awards um, but also German awards and other awards. These are those standard um, stands. Now these ones uh, come in different varieties, ones which you can actually flip, the ones which have a open back so you can if you have a German one uh, with the needle award for example in front of your soul patch you can actually stick, stick it in there but then you have those kind. Now, the problem with these is that if you have Soviet awards, um, the Soviet awards come, for example, this is a medal uh, for, um, the, for taking Königs back, um, that you have the suspension itself and the medal. Now, the problem here is that if you want to display it the appropriate way, um, you're going to have some problems to display it correctly. So, I used to, before I got to those stands, I used to do this this way. Now on one side it looks good, on the other side, well, um, you kind of like lose it because uh, the metal itself is very nice, so it's it would be great if you could display it this way. Now, <clears throat> I found a very interesting person from Ukraine who is uh, doing those stands uh, himself and uh, basically um, and it's not made in China or anything like this. It's made in Ukraine. They're not also not too expensive and they're very nice uh, for using um, Soviet awards as display. Now this one as you can see um, has this is an order of the red star by the by the way uh, it's an early version with a silver uh, screw uh, screw on the side so you can see a very nice piece. I will soon have also a separate video on that uh, red star itself. Now these are the stands, <clears throat> so they're made of ac acrylic and uh, you can basically um, put those in here and uh, yeah, just screw, uh, screw the back and uh, they look pretty uh, slick I would say. So oh, just falling off, uh, one second. Just screw that, there you go. And they look very nice if you display them correctly uh, in your uh, vitrine. So they don't fall off or anything like this. And you can, uh, you can put your gems which you have in your collection uh, and display them way nicer. Um, 
than they are probably because mine used to be like these and now, now I changed to those. <clears throat> and another very interesting piece is, um, are those stands. Now, these are very interesting in terms of, if you take a look, um, they have those um, mm, henches or how you call them, like those little parts here, which actually are very well designed. And as I mentioned, this is designed by a, a Ukrainian um, a uh, guy who is actually doing a fabulous job with uh, creating them and um, I purchased them directly from him so basically uh, your awards will look very nice and you can actually display them uh, very well in your vitrine and um, if you want to show them you don't need to like to flip anything you just uh, turn this piece around and you can see the number on the back side plus the uh, suspension itself so it looks very nice and uh, again it's a question of taste i personally love those way more um, than these ones so basically these ones are good if you have just for example the metal or any kind of a pin you can put them there but for soviet awards in my in my personal opinion um, it doesn't look too nice i mean like it looks okay for the beginning but uh, i'm now preferring those ones and also good is that uh, any Soviet award you have, even medals. Um, if you have awards, you can put them there. If you have medals, so um, if you stick it in here, here you go. You need to be very careful with those. Okay, here you go. So it looks also very nice, and you can display it this way. And um, beautiful pieces. What to say? I mean, today I'm very happy that I actually uh, purchased them. Um, so the vitrine looks way cleaner and way nicer and more organized. So if you have your beautiful gems, which are just laying uh, in the vitrine uh, on the glass piece, it looks nice if you have, for example, some kind of like a, um, some kind of little items laying next to it. But I think awards deserve this kind of uh, display. Now... <clears throat> this will be that will be it so i hope you liked the video uh, check out the group which i have mentioned in the description uh, don't forget to put up a thumb or to like my video leave a comment and uh, well um, thank you very much for your time and uh, yeah feel free to reach out to me leave a comment as mentioned before uh, we'll be more than happy so thank you very much and you have a nice one bye